All right, can I please have everybody stand in front of the TV because we're about to start. Hey guys, you may remember me, Michael. I've been one of your coaches a long time ago. I've been in Sydney and London for a little while, but I'm back in Perth and I'm gonna help Andre with some of his tutorials. I hope you guys are ready to do some hard work. Are you guys ready to start? Before we get too crazy, we're gonna warm up our bodies. I want you guys to find a space we have lots of room so that we can move around. Make sure you have a good space. This space doesn't have to be out inside next to your TV. You can be outside. So take your laptop or your phone and take, take a walk outside. You can have some sun while you do this, it'll be more fun. I hope you found a good space. We're gonna get started with our warm up. We're gonna do some strength stuff to get started. We're gonna pump up Des and Troy. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some running on the spot. Get that cardio stuff going. Woo! And some star jumps. Nice easy stuff to get started. And I hope you guys remember how to do burpees because burpees are next. Do a big jump, squat down to the floor, legs back, jump again. Each time you land, try and land nice and quiet and absorb the impact. Oh. Alright guys, hope you're tired because we're going to do that one more time. Okay guys, this one's a tough one I have ready for you. It's called Caterpillars. We're gonna try and do this on the spot. You're gonna start with your hands really close to your feet. You're gonna walk them far away. Once you get to a front support, this is where it gets harder. You're gonna see if you can keep going to an extended front support, keep those abs switched on. Then walk your hands back all the way towards your legs. We're gonna do that a few more times. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can add a cat pass. There, and baby cat pass. All right guys, that was the demonstration. We're gonna do that together five times. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go with number one. Hands down to the floor, walking your hands out. Extend, because squeeze those abs. Walk your hands back. If you can, can, leave your legs nice and straight. Pause, hold, and repeat for number two. Going out, extend, squeeze. Going back, walk your hands back. Again, nice straight legs if you can, and hold. That was two. Going out again, extend, bring it back, and three. Going out, extend, squeeze, bring it back, and four. Last one. Going out, extend, squeeze, bring it back, and five. Now remember, if you wanted to make it harder, we're gonna add the cat pass. This is what that one looks like again. Walking out, extend, Bring it back to a front support. From the front support, jump, lift your hands. Bring it back to front support. Walk your hands back. Good. If you're doing the harder one, do five of those. All right. You guys need a rest? Have a rest. What a lovely rest. Next exercise. Push-ups. We're gonna drop and give you 10. You ready? Front support, and one, two, Three, if you want to make it harder, add a clap. Four, clap, five, clap, six, clap. If you want a different style, elbows close to your ribs. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. All right, sit ups. We're going to do ten. You guys ready? Lying down, pull your feet towards your butt, and crunching up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last hard one we're gonna do is lunge jumps. This one's a little bit tricky, but don't worry, I think you guys have got this. You're gonna start in a lunge. You're gonna make sure that your knee is a little bit off the floor. Then you're gonna do a big jump, swap sides, 
lower that knee carefully towards the floor. Everything has to stay tense. We're going to do this 10 times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, go have a drink. I'm gonna go have mine. Okay, guys, hope you finished your drink. We're gonna get started now with some stretching. Okay, so the first stretch we're gonna do is a nice lunge. So find a spot, you can put the back knee on the ground this time. You're gonna put your hands on your hips, push your hips forwards, and try and arch your back. Do you feel a nice stretch here in the front of your hip flexor? We're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And swap legs. Leg. And a one, two, pushing those hips forwards, shoulders back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, a little break from that one. We're gonna move on to our wrists. So you're gonna put your hands down on the floor. And we're going to try and pull the heel of the hand up off the ground. And we're going to go up and down 10 times. This exercise should be slow and controlled. Not pa, pa, pa. You're going to hurt your wrists if you do it too fast. Nice and slow. If you're finding it really easy, you can add a little bit of weight by bringing your shoulders forwards. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, another one. This one you've also got to be a little bit careful with. You're going to make a little bit of a fist, put those fists down on the ground, and start, start to straighten your arms. See how straight you can get them. Don't go too hard. You'll feel quite an intense stretch in the back of your wrist. Nice, good. Give your wrist a little bit of a turnaround, a couple circles. Lean forwards over them. Put them together, lean forwards again. And backwards. Hold this one for... 10 seconds, bringing your shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, we're gonna do another one called fist curls. You're gonna put your hands on the ground with nice straight arms, stretched out fingers. You're gonna gently curl your hands into a fist and hold there for a second. Then we're gonna go back down again gently. Don't put too much weight in. And back up. To change the amount of weight that you're putting in, you just need to bring your shoulders further, forwards or backwards. Backwards for less weight to make it a little bit easier, forwards for harder. Yeah, don't go too hard on this one, it's just a stretch. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, give your wrist a little shake, a couple more circles. All right, next we're going to be doing some stuff with our calves. We're going to be doing lots of jumping and stuff, obviously. It's parkour. So you're going to put your hands on the floor, go into a front support, walk your hands back just a little bit into a downward dog. You're going to take one leg, put it behind the other one, and try to keep that heel pushed firmly down to the ground. If you're not feeling much of a stretch, you can walk your hands a little bit further forwards. Keep pushing that heel down to the ground. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and swapping. Other leg, other foot goes behind the leg. Keep pushing the heel down. Again, you can walk your hands further forwards if you need more of a stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> All right, now you're gonna take a seat in a tuck sit. We're going to do a stretch for the back of the ankle, our Achilles. You're going to pull your knee towards your chest, interlock your fingers underneath the ball of your foot, and you're going to pull real hard until you can feel a good stretch right in the back of your, your ankle there. Pull nice and hard, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and swap legs. Again, pull nice and close. Flex your foot, interlock your fingers, and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and relax. All right, next one, we're gonna do a pancake. You're gonna open your legs. You're gonna bring your chest over to one side and your hands towards your foot. Relax, you're gonna take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, try and get a little bit closer to that knee. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. A little closer. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over to the other side. Start with your chest tall, reaching down towards your foot. Hold. Breathing in. Breathing out. A little bit further. Breathing in. Breathing out. A little further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the middle. Start with your chest up nice and tall and reaching your hands forwards. Try to keep your hands off the ground. You guys are the ninjas, so we're not going to make this one easy for you. Breathe in and breathe out. A little lower. Don't touch the floor. Keep your hands reaching forwards. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last, breathe in and breathe out. Pretend you're holding up a baby. If you have something heavy, you can try this stretch holding something heavy out in front of you. It's real hard. Good. And relax. Closing your legs, we're going to go into just cross legs, hands down on the floor, elbows on the floor, connect your fingers. This is just a light glute stretch. And swapping sides. And we're going to do a slightly more intense one now. You guys should remember this one. You're going to put this foot behind your knee and pull your chest towards your shin. If you can, you can put your chin on top of your shin. And if you're not wearing smelly shoes, you can brush your hair. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swapping sides. Ooh. Don't smell your foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And relax. All right. I think that'll do for stretching for now. Next up, we're going to go into some skills. We're going to start with the tic tac. So, what you need to do is go and find yourselves a wall. Remember, this can be outside. I don't think your mum wants you to use her brand new white wall. <laughs> okay. Have you guys found yourselves a wall? We're going to be doing tic tacs. Yeah? If you haven't got your shoes on, put your shoes on as well. Make sure that this wall is a wall you're allowed to use. Yeah? Not mum's clean white wall. Find the one that has some bricks, something, something already brown. Make sure you also ask for permission. Yeah? The tic tac. I know you guys can already do some pretty good tic tacs, but we're going to start by going over some of the real basics. We're going to start on the forwards tic tac, just straight up and down off the wall, and we're going to make sure the technique is perfect, yeah? Just a refresher. All right, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry, we're not just learning, we're practicing. We're going to start basic, and I just want to talk about a couple of safety principles first, yeah? Remember, every wall you do a tic tac on is going to be a little bit different. So it's important sometimes to kind of do a little bit of a test on the wall, to make sure it's good. First, check with your hands, give it a push, make sure it's solid and it's not gonna fall over. Yeah, you'd be surprised, some walls are pretty shocking. and They shake and they wobble, yeah? Next up is to check how slippery it is. You're gonna do a couple of really basic tic tacs, pushing straight into the wall, yeah? One on your left, one on your right, yeah? I'm pushing directly into the wall for the first couple because that's gonna maximize the amount of grip I have. If you want some physics, the amount of friction is proportional to the normal force. That's the amount of force you're putting into the wall. The amount of friction is proportional to the normal force. That's the amount of force you're putting into the wall. Yeah? yeah. Then we're going to start pushing a little bit at a time down the wall. Yeah? So you're pushing in and down. Start a little bit and then you can work your way up to try and get the maximum height off the wall. The more you push down, the more you'll go up. 
But there's a point. There's a point where you push too much down and you won't have any grip on the wall. You will slip. So you want to find where that point is on every wall before you do tic tacs. That way you know exactly what angle and how much you can push on the wall to maximize the height. Yeah? This is to make your technique perfect. You want to get the highest jump you can. Yeah, so we're going to play with that. We're going to do five on each leg. I want you to practice five pushing into the wall and then we're going to do five pushing a little bit down and find that magic point. All right, now we're going to do it together, yeah? Starting with five, just again into the wall, yeah? Try and get as much distance away from the wall as you can. All right, I think that's five. That might have been more than five. Probably should have picked an even number so we do both legs the same. Next up, I want you to start having a little bit of a play with the angle that you're pushing into the wall, yeah? So just go with your left leg for now and find the maximum point that you can push, yeah? The maximum angle. So I'm gonna start conservative, push a little bit down. That was fine, all right? I'm gonna push a little bit further down. That felt like I was about to slip. But just to be sure, with my hands ready, I'm gonna push down a little bit more. I think that was the spot, yeah? I started to slip. I'm not gonna get any more height if I push any further down. So take it back one step. All right, let's try the same on the other leg. I can go a little more. Maybe a little more. Did you see that start to slip? It wasn't much, but it was a little. So I found the point on both legs. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a play and we've figured out the maximum that we can push down on the wall. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some tape, peel a little bit off and we're gonna put it on the wall. Well, that's not a very good peel. We're gonna peel it, put it on the wall at the maximum height that we can jump at, yeah? You can hold it in your hand for this to see how it goes. So I'm gonna hold it in my hand, I'm gonna take a couple of steps back, do my little run up, see how high I can get it on the wall. <laughs> I missed, I better try that again. Here we go. All right, now that's how high it was. I can try a couple of times with my tape down to see if I can touch the tape or even higher than the tape. Pretty sure that was a little bit higher. If you feel like you've done it higher, you can move the tape again and see if you can beat your personal best. You can beat your personal best. So now we're going to do the tic-tac with a turn. Andre sometimes calls this one the tic-tac 180. So you're going to take off with your left leg and you're going to turn to your right. Yeah, push off the wall and precision landing. Make sure you always make sure you know which leg you're going off and which way you're turning because otherwise you're going to trip over your own leg. Yeah, it's always opposites. Now one to the right, turning to your left. Yeah, let's do five of those on each side. First, with the right leg turning to the left. Now left to the right, ready? Yeah, see if you can go nice and high, yeah? Both sides, don't forget. Oh, my foot slipped, did you hear it? I think that's five. How many was it? Next level up is going to be the horizontal tic tacs. So we're going to try and run sideways towards the wall and then tick off. You guys probably remember which leg it is. It's going to be your inside leg, the one closest to the wall, so that you don't end up tripping over your own leg. I'm going to kick off, look away from the wall. You can do this landing on either one foot or two. Yeah? When you do it the first time, you should probably land in a precision. Yeah, that looks like this. Yeah, nice precision landing. But later, when you want to add some flow, you want to try and land on just one leg. Kick off off the leg closest to the wall, 
land on the opposite leg, and you should be able to then continue running out of your skill, yeah? So you're able to continue with a stride. You can easily adapt that to a step vault or any other skill that starts with just one leg. All right, make sure we do the other side. And back again. And back again. Good. Make sure you do about five, landing on two feet, and five, landing on one foot. Let's do them together. One. One. <laughs> Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. All right, that's the precision jump version. Now you're gonna try and do it with one foot and add some flow. Okay, so now we're gonna look at our cat passes. I know you did some cat passes with Andre last week, so most of this is going to be a revision. But I have a couple of drills you may have had or may have not, you may or may not have done before. So we're going to do first something I would call a cat pass lower down. So you're going to jump onto your hands like a cat pass, and then lower your legs down slowly to the floor. Yeah, the idea in this is to make it as slow as possible. So my feet are coming down real slow. A few more times. Yeah, do it five times with me. And go. One. And two. And my feet are together for this one, yeah? Three. And you can go a little bit higher towards the handstand if you like. Four, but don't fall over. Last one. Five. All right, that's a good one to add a little bit of extra control in your cat pass, just in case you need to stop in the middle of a cat pass. Okay, so next one is gonna be a cat pass on the floor, yeah? Remember, you're gonna be kicking your back leg up a little bit like a cartwheel, but don't kick too strong for this one because you don't have to go very high, yeah? One foot forwards, one foot back, little kick and dive, and then pull, push, and flick, yeah? Don't forget that you're pulling with your hands, then pushing and flicking them up as you snap your feet underneath. Yeah, make sure the surface you're on isn't too slippery. This one is a little bit, so I have to be a bit more careful. Yeah, if you want to make it a bit harder, find yourself some bean bags, find yourself some tape, and you're going to try and measure how far you can go. I'm going to get some tape. Okay. So I have my tape marker, it can be anything you like to use to mark. I'm going to put one marker down where my hands are going to go. That's maybe not clear enough. One marker down where I'm going to put my hands. And I'm going to put the other marker down where my feet land, yeah? So I'm going to have a go first, see where I land. Yeah, I'm going to put a marker under the ball of my feet. So then, again, you can see if you can beat your personal best. Yeah, so you've got your marker. The bean bag is really easy to move. So you can move it. So here I go with my, my jays, with my back leg kicking up. Kick, pull, push, and flick. I think I got a little bit further, but not much. Let's see if I can go further. That one was pretty good. My heels are at the tape instead of the ball of my feet. Yeah? So see how far you can get. They're not as easy as you think on the floor, but if you can get a good cat pass on the floor, when you return to doing them on the wall, they're gonna be excellent. Okay guys, go and grab yourselves two chairs. I'm gonna be waiting for you. Have you got your chairs? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, first exercise is a strength exercise. 
what we're going to do, we're going to hold on to the chair on the handles, and we're going to lift our feet off the floor. Yeah, as you do that, you want to go slow the first time, making sure you're testing if your chairs are stable and sturdy. Yeah, they might be a little bit wobbly. You can also turn your chairs in, yeah, if they haven't got handles, and use the base where you normally sit. Please don't use your mum's wheelie chair from the office, because I reckon that one's going to go wheelie bad if you're going to have an accident. <laughs> you like my bad jokes? Have you missed them? All right. So let's do that first one exercise, holding on. We're going to hold it for 20 seconds. And one. Twenty. The next exercise that we're going to do is going to be about that last bit, that step out. Yeah, so you're going to hold on and you're going to lift your knees and you kick one leg out at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. That was a little bit harder, yeah? What we're gonna do after the kick, we're gonna push the hips forwards and step forwards. This is the last part of your dash, yeah? Hands on the, on the handles, lift your knees, kick, step, push your hips. Push. We're gonna do that again on the other leg. Kick, push, yeah? Do that a few more times. Why are we doing these exercises? They seem like they're really easy, and they are in principle, but they're using your abs quite a lot. It's gonna slow down your dash a little bit, which is good if you have run up against something unexpected after you've done your dash, you need to be able to control your dash and get out of whatever tricky situation is on the other side. If you can slow down 